Hi, sixth graders. Today we are going to be looking at how do we subtract integers. Now, in our lesson today, you are going to be seeing that subtraction does not exist. But why? Why does, ex why does subtraction not exist anymore? Well, we are going to find out. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell me how subtracting integers is related to adding integers. You should also be able to show me how to model the subtraction of integers and be able to find the difference um, with absolute value, which will be tomorrow when we use a number line or in our next lesson when we use a number line. So. Um, let's first start with this problem here. 2 minus 4. All right, so how do we take 4 away? How do we subtract 4 when we only start with 2? We can't, right? There aren't four things to take away. So subtraction means to remove. And if I don't have enough things to remove, I have to create the possibility for it to happen. So in order for this problem to happen, I have to somehow create the possibility of having four positives to take away because right now I don't have four positives. I only have two. So in order to take away four positives, we're going to add on some zero pairs. The reason why we're adding on zero pairs is because zero has no value. So by adding on zero pairs, we're not changing the value of this equation. So if I add on a zero pair here, dog hair stuck to my chip, oh my goodness, dog hair chips. Nobody likes hair in their food. Just kidding. Okay, so when you have four, two zero pairs, remember this has no value. However, because we've created the possibility, we can now take away positive four by adding on, by adding on two zero pairs and then taking away the four positives, we're left with two negatives. So I started with two positives, and then I had to add on two zero pairs so that I could remove the zero pairs. So I had to add, I had to add in order to remove. And now I'm left with a negative two. So I'm left with negative two. Okay, so let's look at this problem in a different way. If we would have written this problem as two plus a negative four, would I get the same answer? Well, let's look at it. I have two and I'm going to add on negative four. So here's my four reds. I take away my zero pairs and I'm left with negative two. Subtraction no longer exists because I've added on and gotten the exact same answer. So when I had two positives and I add on negative four, I've created zero pairs and I'm left with negative two. So adding the opposite started with subtraction and saw that I had to add on zero pairs in order to even make this possible. When instead I could have just changed this to addition and made it become a negative. 
Same thing we did in our last lessons. Okay, let's do another problem so that we can see this in action again. How is subtraction of integers possible? Let's try another one. All right, how about negative three minus one? So I have negative three and I need to take away a positive one. Well, I cannot take away a positive one. So I need to create the possibility for this to even occur. Therefore, I'm going to add on a zero pair so that I have one positive that I can take away. So here I go, I'm removing my one positive and it leaves me with negative four. So because I added on a zero, I had that positive that I could take away. I had to create the possibility of even having positives. So I started with negative three, and they wanted me to take away a negative one. Well, because I didn't have a negative one to take away, I had to create the possibility by addition. So I added on a zero pair because zero pair has no value. And now I can remove that out of there and I have negative four. So I ended up with all negatives. I could have also rewritten the problem so that it said negative three plus a negative, oops, that should be one, equals, so I had negative three, and then I add on a negative one, I have negative four. There's nothing to remove, there's no possibilities to create, because you're keeping your negative sign with the integer, because subtraction does not exist. So we had negative three, then we add on one more negative, and this equals negative four. They're the exact same. Okay, what about a problem that looks like, we did that one, what about a problem that looks like this? A problem that looks like this. Negative three minus a negative seven. So I have negative three minus a negative seven. So I have to subtract seven negatives is what this is telling me to do, to remove seven negatives. So what I have to do here is start with my three, oops, three negatives. That is not a negative, there we go. But it wants me to take away seven negatives. Well, I don't have seven negatives to take away. So I have to create the possibility in order for seven negatives to exist. So I'm gonna take away seven negatives by adding on zeros until I have seven negatives to remove. So here is a zero pair that gives, here's another zero pair. So I've added on two zero pairs so far. Here's another zero pair. And here's another zero pair. Now I have the possibility of removing seven negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So because I've added on all those zero pairs, I can remove the negative and I'm left with four positive. I'm left with four positive. Okay, but what if I had just said, well, let's draw this out real quick. There we go. 
negative 3. And then I had to create the possibility by getting to having negative 7s to take away. So I had to add on four zero pairs. Now I can remove all the negativity, get rid of it, and I'm left with four positives. But what if, what if I had just written the opposite, three plus a positive seven? If I had negative three, and then I added on a positive seven, My goodness, I cannot get my yellows and my reds today. So I have my zero pairs that I can get rid of. And that leaves me, again, with four positives. So when I've changed my subtraction back to addition, I end up with the exact same answer, and I don't have to add on or create any possibilities because the possibility is already there. Subtraction does not exist. So I had negative 3, and I added on 7 positives. And all of my zeros disappear, and I'm left with a positive 3. By creating the possibility of something there to actually take away, because that's the idea of subtraction is removing, you're really adding. All right, it is your turn for a try it. So let's do some try it's down here. So try it number one is one minus four. So show me how to model that one. Try it number two, negative five minus two. And try it number three, is 6 minus a negative 5. 6 minus negative 5. So show me how to model subtraction. Go ahead and hit pause right now so you don't hear my voice. I am going to solve these so when you're ready, come on back. All right. I had one positive and I'm going I need to subtract four positives. Well, I don't have four positives to subtract. So I have to create the possibility by making zero pairs until I get four positives that I can take away. I can take away my four positives now, and I'm left with three negatives. So I had one positive. And then I needed to create the possibility by adding on zero pairs so that I could take away four positives. So I was adding on so that I could take away. Those go away and I'm left with negative three. All right, what about this one? I had negative five. And I need to take away a positive 2. So I had negative 5. And I need to take away positive 2. Well, I don't have positive 2 to take away. So I'm going to create the possibility by creating 0 pairs. So I have to add on the possibility. Now I can take away positive 2. Those are gone, and I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm left with negative seven. All right, and the last one. All right, I had six positives.
and I needed to take away negative 5. So in order to take away the negative 5, I have to create that possibility by making 0 pairs. So now that I have negative 5 to take away, I can take away that. They're gone. And I'm left with all positives. I'm actually left with positive 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right, sixth graders, how did you do on this? Are you able to model it, solve it, show how to create the possibility so that you can remove something? Can't remove it if it's not there. All right. How would I rewrite this as addition? Well, this one I would rewrite it as 1 plus a negative 4. This one I would rewrite as negative 5 plus a negative 2, keeping the symbol with the integer. And this one I would rewrite as 6 plus 5. All right, now it's your turn to answer your essential question. How do we subtract integers? And then put your rating out to the side in the box. And um, if you have any questions, please make sure that you come back to the Google Meet and ask for help or email me. And as always, thank you so much for all of your hard work and make it a great day, the Cougar way.